would be your gunsmith. Who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. The moment you do, you will see what those hyenas are made of. I ask you, where are they going to be when it's cold outside and your boy's got the mumps and you've got nothing on your table but regret? D don't you see what the bottom popular is selling? They're selling dreams. They're dreams, my friend. But they don't come cheap. The truth is, I don't have a lot of time for all that prophecy nonsense. I tell you, belief is, is just a commodity. Old Comstock, well, he does produce, but like any tradesman, he's obliged to barter his product for the earthly ores. You see, one does not raise a barn on song alone. Oh, no, sir. Well, that's fink timber, a fink hammer, and fink's hand to swing it. <laughs> He needs me, lest he soil his own. Welcome to Fink Industries Recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No help. How are we going to do it? Illegally. Let's look for another way. <laughs> Lock needs picking. Sure thing. Ready. Down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. For the glory of Salt, take them! Reek what you sow! Here! Got it!
Want to hold on to this? Take it. Smith Chen Lin, wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. Got a lock here. I can do that. All yours. <laughs> some money. Why would Slate have it? The husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. This bastard shall not be raised under this roof. She had me locked in that tower. I just want to get out of this city. Please. Hold in my hand the private journal of Comstock's wife. It puts the lie to this miracle child nonsense. She loved the child not. It seems the sainted lady would have preferred to let the seed of the prophet just dry out on the bed sheets. Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee. Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee. Be the bee. Maybe you should get that. Uh, hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes? Alter Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! 
<laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, the man's got an ego. find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? Doesn't strike me as good news. Manufacturing to Shantytown. Starting bid. 20 minutes. 15 what do you minutes. Think? 15 minutes. Head to the gunsmith 14. or scavenge supplies by that clock shop. Nine. I've nine been nine. Bid, nine. Nine minutes bid. Nine. Eight. Now, some folks just aren't satisfied with their place here at Fink Industries. But I tell you, there's a purpose for all living things. Uh, would the pharaohs of Egypt have been able to stand at the top of their pyramids if they did? take long at all. There we go. cipher on it. Huh. So we need to find the code book? Yes. Hmm. Looks like everything's been pounded at the Good Time Club. Maybe that's where we'll find it.
know, I wasn't born deaf. <laughs> I hear what it is people are saying. And uh, well, why is it, Mr. Fig? It's look like we can enter now. 16 hours a day. No, <laughs> let's be clear. I would like nothing more than to shorten your work day. <laughs> but the fact is, I simply can't. Why not, you ask? Well, I can sum it up for you in one word. Morality. You see, my friends, the idle hand is the tool of the devil. You take industry from a man's hand, and what goes in its place? Whiskey, women, and dice. And I, for one, will not have that in our friendly little town. No, sir, I will not. I'll be down here. One day, ain't nobody noticed me. Then they think I done for Lady Comstock, and well, everybody noticed me. I head to Finkton, and I hide. I hide deep. The more they look, deeper I go. Only thing a color child can count on is the fact they invisible. Showtime. 
Later. It's your home. If you don't protect it now, who will? Booker, Chen Lin, Gunsmith. I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called false shepherd, stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Gautama Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. He spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worshipped at ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. I'm sorry to bother you. I'd... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Meilin. Where did they take him? Club. 
everyone take to Good Time Club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker will find it. <laughs> Just leave her be. Why not Vox Populi help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Cops. Kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Let's figure out where this good time club is. Need money? Here you go. Mr. Lin, and just call me Booker. I don't much care for you, Mr. DeWitt. I must admit, you know your way around a brawl. I'm sorry about what I said at the docks. Lately, I've been hearing a whole can see how I might have changed her sense of that. Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man <laughs> Lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Over there, oh. fireman. Ammo, take it. <laughs> take this. That'll do.
interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. Booker, there's a door over here. I think that's the way down.
You're a modern woman. 1912. It's gonna be 2012 before I'm interested in one like you. Who's out there? Fight! Here! Ammo! Catch! Catch, Booker! for folks like Fink. Really? And I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Got it. to be locked up in a place like this. I think don't need much of a reason. No. He doesn't. Tax the black more than the white. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races. Is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red. Is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? No problem. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. All done.
Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? How the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Shen Lin. This is becoming rather awkward. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. Look, there's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Elizabeth? Hmm. It's done. No mercy. Chink's wife got friends in high places. Come on, we need to sell. I don't understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. And somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. world. Look at their noses. They're... they're... What was wrong with them? They remembered. Remembered what? Being dead. Who's that? What is going on? Has my head of security? You want to find out how these two slits killed your men and what they were doing? That man will just fall. In the 
other worlds, he was the one who was strung up on the wall. In the other world? This whole business makes my head hurt. Hold on to this. Catch! Nice. 